What's going on guys? Welcome back to The Walking Dead. Um, today in this one we're going to be playing episode 4. I'm probably going to cut it up like I've been doing into a part 1 and part 2 just because the episodes are so long. So this is probably part 1 right here. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and start episode 4 around every corner. Last episode, I assume that it's going to give us a back, little back briefing on what happened last episode so I don't have to. Thank God. Previously. On The Walking Dead. Shut so up, Carly. Ugh, I've heard enough out of you. Now, what the fuck's the problem? Dude, that was crazy. Just that was crazy when that happened. We'll figure out what to do with you. I was trying to protect all of us. Holy shit. She's stealing the RV. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. Y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do we do? Give me the gun, kid. I'll do it. I think we should look for your parents. Really? Yeah. You need to know if they're okay and, well, if they're not, what happened to them? I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? It's all my fault. We gotta jump! What? No way! Ah! Shit! Can't wait for you to get to Savannah, Clementine. I got your parents right here, and you be sure to find me whether Lee wants you to or not. Now, what I need. Who the fuck? Well, I don't know. What? But I doubt we're gonna be happy when we find out. Clementine's been talking to people, bro. The series. The game series adapts to the choices you make. The story will tailor to how by. Whatever. By the way, you play. Telltale Games presents in association with Skybound Entertainment The Walking Dead Jefferson Street Assertion. Episode four around every corner. <laughs> Come time, what the hell you been doing, man? Can't I just hold it? No. Just for a little while? We're getting real close to where my mom and dad are. Maybe I can... Not now, Clementine. Maybe later, okay? Okay. We're pissed, also Clementine. Me. His leg's pretty bad. I'm fine. You're not fine. You need to rest. He needs to rest. <laughs> Kenny, how much, farther? how much farther to the riverfront? There should be just a few more blocks up ahead. And there'll be boats there? There sure as hell better be. There'll be boats. Have to be. Have to be. It's going to be okay. Kenny knows what he's doing. Shut up, Ben. What the hell? Maybe this city's not so dead after all. Keep moving. No one's ringing that bell. It's automatic. On a timer. What kind of church bell goes off at 20 past the hour? Someone's up there! Are you sure? I don't yes. see anything. Shut up, Ben. I know what I saw. Hey! Hey, you, hey, you up there! Damn it, Lee. Keep quiet. You're gonna... <laughs> if I were you, I'd get out of the street. I thought you said that thing didn't work. Who the hell is this? Hello? Hello? I said answer me! Dude, we're pissed. What the hell was that? Is someone trying to fuck with us? Sounded more like a warning. 
Ask not for whom the bell tolls. What are you yammering on about? It tolls for thee. All the zombies come. It, yeah, all the zombies. All the zombies. Everybody, um. run! Hey, that boy clean with the shovel, son. One time, dummy. Kitty! Oh shit! I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm about to. Ba ba ba! Little too close, don't you think? <laughs> no, Ben, help her! Ben, bro. God damn it! <laughs> no! I shot that one. Get her the hell out of here. I'll catch up with you. Ben. Move your asses! River Street's right up ahead! That's not all. I'll oh, give me a fucking break! Wait, where the hell's Chuck? <laughs> Shit, he's in trouble. We gotta help him. Come on, help him. Help Chuck. There's no time! We gotta go! Now! I'll be fine! Just go! No, Chuck. I'll get the door. You okay? Uh, yeah. You've opened up your wound. You're bleeding. Shit, it's gonna get infected. We've gotta get him inside. Clean him up. Kenny, how's that door coming? I'm working on it, I'm working on it! We'll work faster, would you? Won't Ooh, be long shit. before those things outside figure out where we went. You know they can smell blood. Lady, I ain't the one who's bleeding. Let me see if I can find us a way in. Ben, ben. you fucking bitch. About what happened back there on the street. I know. I don't know what happened. I just froze up. Hasn't that ever happened to you? Just no. hear what I'm saying to you. You put that girl in danger again. It won't be walkers you have to worry about. I hear you. Better. Think we can get in through one of these windows? Man, I don't think so. Whoever owned this place had them all barred up. Yeah, looks pretty solid. How do you think Kenny's holding up? I don't know. It's it's like all he can think about is finding a boat. He definitely doesn't want to talk about Katja and Duck. At least not with me. Yeah, well, I figured that's probably for the best. I'm gonna go check things out. All right. Yeah, Ben. Fucking dickhead. Oh, look. Oh, it's a dog. Looks like I something think. was buried here. Oh, it's a puppy. Just a doghouse. Oh, it's probably the doghouse. The pupper that died. Poor doggo. Not thirsty enough to drink that yet. No, 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 no. no, no. The shovel is never not useful. Oh, are we gonna go bury? Oh my god, we are. Oh my god, this is gonna be so weird. We're going to do it. Don't think I wanna start digging up God knows what until we find our way into that house first. No way I'm gonna be able to bust through that. No way I'm gonna be able to bust through that. What's this? Looks like there's some kind of pet door here. 
I tried it already. That's locked too. Who the hell ever heard of a locked doggy door? I have. My neighbor had one just like that. It's it's radio controlled. The dog wears a collar with a chip in it, so the door only opens when the dog gets close to it. Well, shit. Every day's a school day. We gotta bury up the. We gotta dig up the dog. All right. So, where's the dog? Aha! Time to go dig up the dog, boy. Let's talk to these people first. Time to call time as well. How's he looking? I'm all right. You're not all right. You've reopened your wound, you're losing blood, and God only knows what might have gotten in there. It could be infected, it could be... No offense, but you really need to work on your bedside manner. She's just worried about you, man. Don't worry. We're gonna get you fixed up in no time. Just as soon as we're inside, okay? Yes, okay. sir. Thanks, man. Please go and help Kenny. We need to get him inside now. I'm on it. Just sit tight. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. I like Amid. Do you think the dead people saw us come back here? Are they going to find us? Try not to worry. to worry. Even if they saw us, they can't get in here. We did. Why can't they? We're a lot smarter than they are. They're just like dumb animals. They can't open doors. I used to have a pet hamster. One night, he figured out how to open the door to his cage. And when we woke up, he'd eaten half a box of cookies. <laughs> Don't think this is quite the same, Clem. Yeah, right. This time, we're the cookies. Just stay away Oof. from the gate. And we'll see if they get us inside the house. That's funny. Will we be inside soon? Yeah, not much longer now. I hope so. It's getting cold out here. Okay, whatever. We're digging up the dog. Hey, be careful. Digging up dead things isn't what it used to be, you know what I mean? Yeah, I hear you. What's buried down there? A dog. Nothing. Clem, go over and sit with Krista and Obi, okay? But I want to... Just do what I say, okay? Oh, come on. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hurt you, buddy. Oh, God, the smell. <clears throat> Can't get it off. Okay, that is not cool. Jesus. Are you okay? I'm fine, honey. It's just the smell. Are you sure you're... I said I'm fine, okay? Ugh. Guess this used to be his home. I don't need that anymore. I'm done digging up dead dogs for today. But you can use it like Chuck did and be a badass, bro. Alright, let's go inside. Let's go inside. Yes, sir. Here goes nothing. Yes! God damn! You see anything in there? No. Looks like it's been empty a while. Whatever you're gonna do, do it fast. Okay, let me see if I can reach up in there. Be careful, man. <clears throat> it's no good. I can't get it. Here, let me try. I think I can... Clem, are you okay? Say something! Ta-da! Aw, Clementine! Good Did job, Clem! Up? Yeah, way to go! I did good, right? Yes, you did. You did good. Can we maybe have this conversation inside? My leg's starting to hurt like hell. 
Looks okay from here. Everybody in. It's a nice ass house. Oh, the puppy. Uh, sorry, sorry. No, it's okay. I'm good. I feel better already just being off my feet. Thanks, babe. So, when were you gonna tell us about the radio? Tell you what? That it's working. That there's someone else on the other end of that thing. You didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest of us? I was gonna tell you. Kenny and I only found out yesterday. So both of you were keeping it from the rest of us. Great. Who gives a shit about the damn radio? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What makes you think it's not the same person? Whoever was on the radio was close enough to see us in the street. And we didn't see anyone else other than the guy in the bell tower. Because that doesn't make a lick of damn sense. Why would they bring out the dead like that and then try to warn us about it? How much sense does anything make anymore? In case you haven't noticed, there's a lot of twisted folks out there these days. At least the dead don't play games with you. Whoever it was, seems like they're following us. And I don't like being followed. All the more reason to get on a damn boat where we can't be followed. I'm not going back out there anytime soon. Omid needs to rest. I think we can all use a little time to rest up and gather our thoughts, Kenny. At least until those walkers outside wander off and Omid's feeling better. He best feel better quick. I ain't gonna wait around here too long. Place seems secure, at least. I'll feel better when we know that for sure. We need to check the whole house. <sighs> All right, fine. You and me will take the upstairs. Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door, understand? Okay. Can I help? What if there's another locked door? I think you've been helpful enough for one day, kiddo. Why don't you just see if Kristen and Omid need anything, okay? Okay. Oh, I wish we could have asked if she came along. All empty. You gotta check, bro. You gotta check everything. Nothing. Water's off. No power. Dog food. Hope we never get desperate enough for food that this starts looking appetizing. I'm not that hungry. Besides, I need to finish checking the downstairs. Okay, fine. Whatever, Lee. Just be that way. Must have stopped working a while ago. Whoever cleared this place out left behind two bottles of whiskey. Looks like someone didn't have their priorities straight. <laughs> Probably Boy, not the best idea right now. I need to stay frosty. How's it coming? Where the fuck is she at? Looks expensive and heavy. Doubt any looters would be able to haul that thing too far. Guys. How's the house looking? Not done searching the first floor yet, but so far so good. Finding this house was a hell of a stroke of luck. I like it a lot better when we know for sure it's safe. I'll make sure. But right now it feels like just the break we needed. 
maybe our luck's starting to turn around. I'd like Hopefully. to believe that. Really, I would. How's that couch treating you, Omid? Leg feeling better yet? I'm all right. I feel you. What do you guys think about this plan of Kinney's? The guy's losing it. Look, Lee, I know he's your friend and all, but you need to be careful. That man is on the edge, and I don't know if I want to be around when he goes over it. Kenny's solid. He's just been through a lot, that's all. I hope you're right. For all our sakes. Sit tight. I'll keep checking the first floor to make sure it's safe. Bro, we need to make uh, we need to check the first floor, son. Check this first floor, boy. Holding up okay? I hope this house is safe. Have you checked all the rooms to make sure? No, but I'll take care of it. Clear. Nothing hiding in here. Yeah, what is that? Not exactly my style. Oh, puppy. Clear. All clear in here. Just one more to check. All right, let's go. Jesus! What? What happened? It's nothing. Just... Uh... Nothing. I didn't even check that. Well, place ain't got much. We should be okay here for a while. At least until it quiets down outside. Good. Thanks. Is he okay? Yeah, for now. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? Nah, just dog food. And there's some whiskey in the back. I was just asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell us. Who is he? What does he want? Go ahead, Clem. It's okay. You're not in any trouble. It's just a friend. I don't think he wants to hurt us. What has he been saying to you? What have you been saying to him? I told him I was trying to find my parents and that they were in Savannah. He really seems nice. I think he wants to help me find them. Clementine, honey, trust me, that's not what he wants. He... Lee? Lee, you need to get up here now. What's wrong? It's Kenny. Kenny said he thought he heard something up there. Went to go look. He's up there? I can't get him to come down. Stay here. Oh my god. Dude, why is this so slow? Come on. Kenny? Kenny. You okay, man? Oh, Jesus. What the hell is that? Oh, my God. Kind of 
looks like Duck, don't he? It's just a kid. What the hell happened to him? Ain't nothing on him. Guess he must have been hiding out up here. Starved to death. Jesus Christ. I don't know if I can, Lee. Couldn't do it before. Can't do it now. I can't ask you to do this, man. I'll take care of it. Like I did before. Are you sure? I guess we'll find out. Here. This'll make it clean and quick. What are you doing? I thought you said you were gonna take care of it. I'm sorry, man. I... I don't know that I can. I don't know that I can either. It's okay. I'll take care of it. Poor kid. Must have tried to hide out up here until he starved to death. Oh, this could have been Clementine if I hadn't found her when I did. We should bury him. I'll take care of it. Yeah, this is so sad. This is tough to watch, man. Bye, buddy. Oh my god, this scared me so bad. Hey! Hey! You stay the hell away from us, you hear? Lee, what's going on? 
Oh, that scared the shot out of me, man. I saw someone standing there by the fence, watching us. A walker? No, too fast. Took off like a bat out of hell when I spotted him. Was it a man or a woman? Didn't get a good enough look. What does it matter? I'm wondering if it's the same guy who's been following us. The guy on the radio. Kenny? I'm fine. I just... I'm fine. What's all the ruckus? Lee saw someone watching us from outside the gate. What? Who? I can't be sure. They ran off before I could get a good look. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. Me either. Walkers are one thing. But the thought of someone out there actually stalking us. All right, that's it. We've stuck around here long enough. It's time to get back on track. Time to get down to the river and find ourselves a boat. I don't know if Omid's well enough to move yet. Well, he better get ready, because I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat. And as soon as she's ready to go, we're moving out. I don't know if it's safe to leave just yet. Why the hell not? Walkers look to have cleared out. That's not all I'm worried about. So you'd rather just hunker down here and just let whoever's out there keep us boxed in? Wait for them to starve us out? No thanks. I hate to say it, but Kenny's right. Omid's not in great shape to move, but we can't do anything for him here. Without meds or a doctor, he's only gonna get worse. All right, all right. I'll head to the river with Kenny to scope out a boat, while you get Omid ready to move. What about me? You'll stay here with the group. You'll only slow us down. Wait, can't I come? My mom and dad can't be far now. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. We can't right now. But you promised we'd go find them when we got here. On the train, you promised. I know I did, Sweet Pea. I haven't forgotten. But Savannah's more dangerous than I thought it would be. We all need to stick together as a group. Alright. Okay. Daylight's burning. Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll head out. Come on, Clem. Let's go see if Omid needs anything. I hate, like, telling... So, you're just gonna leave me on the bench here? That's not how it is, Ben. I need you to stay here and keep an eye on Clementine. I can do that. Well, just so we're clear. While I'm gone, anything or anyone tries to get inside this house, you shoot them. Don't even think twice about it. Understand? I got no problem shooting walkers. Did you hear what I said? Anything or anyone? Good. Alright, Ben, you dummy. I didn't try. I don't trust Ben at all, by the way. It said you trust Ben to freaking protect Clementine? No, I don't, because he sucks. He le almost let her die right there. I just did that so I could shut him up. Infected. East Bay Street. Lincoln Street. Kenny looks pissed off. Keep your eye out for Chuck. He might be waiting for us around here. Yeah, sure. Damn. Son of a bitch! That bastard's fucking with us again. It's another trap. No, listen. That's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's gonna get the dead moving over there. We need to get inside. What in the hell is going on? person ringing that bell might be doing us a favor. Whatever, man. I find whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking bell for them. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Hmm. Let's keep moving. Oh, 
Why would they be stalking us? I don't understand. Still nothing moving behind us. I think we're... Oh my god. There's gotta be a boat. There's gotta be. Kenny, man, I don't think so. Maybe we need to come up with a new plan. This is the plan! It's the only one we've got, and you pissing on it in front of everyone like you did back at the house ain't exactly helping. Well, screw you. I ain't giving up that easy. Kimmy's going on up. He's breaking, man. This one might still be salvageable. You better be right about this. I said it might be. Give me a fucking break. I'm a fishing captain, not a miracle worker. I'll check it out. You look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. I don't think we should split up too far. We don't have to. See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. See what you can find. Okay. I'm just trying to make Kenny happy, man. Like... Not exactly a welcome banner. Oh my god, oh. Oh my god! Holy crap. What the fuck? What is this meant to be? Some kind of warning? Who we'll do something like this? Oh, those graphics, baby. Oh, yeah. What the shit? like scarecrows. What sick bastard did this? What the hell are these markings? They're all over the place. I need to get back to Kenny. What's that in the alleyway? That's a box. There's another marking. Could be military tags, but what do they mean? It's an old cash register. Not much use these days. An abandoned newsstand. Must have taken weeks to board up all these windows. Gas siphoned, tires removed, engine parts missing. Looks like this thing has been stripped clean. Looks like the whole city has been boarded up for all the good it did. It's an old cash register. Well, I could get these days. Well, I could get this and then go to put it in that other machine, but you know, it's whatever. There's a damn telescope. There it is. Look through the telescope. Great. Needs a quarter to work. 
Exactly, that's why. Uh, ha 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 ha. That's what I was saying. Go to the cash register to get the money. Beautiful. Empty. Yeah, that would have been too easy. Can I walk down salary? Oh, I can. That was kind of pointless. Oh well. How far can I get on this road? I should probably stick close to Kenny. It's too dangerous out here. I don't... Mm, I don't know what to do. I guess there's quarters in this machine that we could, like, break open, maybe? Yeah. Sick. What's up with the boat? It ain't gonna work. Hull's cracked beneath the waterline, plus someone stripped out the battery. You can't fix it? What the... what the hell is that? Exactly, that's what I was wondering. Fate worse than death. Abandoned. Every other place in this city. No way that one's salvageable. Nothing but water, not a boat to be seen. Hey, what the, the fuck? Hell? Why the hell are we hiding? Someone came down from that building at the end of the street. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. Could be our bell ringer. How about we go find out? Sounds like a plan. Okay, you head up the middle of the street. I'll go around the side and cover your flank. We'll come up on him quiet, take him by surprise. It's a girl for sure. I bet it's a girl. I bet it's a girl. We just want to talk to this guy. Oh, we're gonna talk. What am I doing? What is Kenny doing also? You're not from Crawford. What? Crawford? 
What the hell are you talking about? Kenny, don't! No, he's with us! It's a girl. Who the hell are you people? I asked you first. The name's Molly. Molly? I'm Lee. This is Kenny and Clementine. We're not looking for any trouble. Hi. Haha, <laughs> Clementine. <laughs> you guys really aren't from Crawford, are you? What's Crawford? know what that is. Everything beyond that barricade. What the hell happened here? You sure you want to know? Yes, bro. When everything started going to shit, some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive. Stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. Why? Let's just say they have a zero-tolerance policy for anyone who won't, or can't, live by their rules. So how'd you know we weren't them? Because there are no children in Crawford. Not anymore. Do you know who's been ringing those bells all over town? Yeah, that would be me. I knew it! Lee, I knew she was the one who'd been following us! Fucking with us! Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa, before I jam it straight up your ass. I haven't been following you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? Yeah, well, whoever you are, ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raise the dead all around us. That's the idea, genius. It's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks towards it. Buys me some time to scavenge the area as they cleared out. Geeks? Is that what you call them? Yeah, you know, like at the carnival? They'll eat anything, alive or dead. That was pretty smart, the bells. Doesn't take much to outsmart the dead. Bunch of dumbasses. You just gotta move fast, get in and out before they start to wander back again. What do you mean, no children? Why not? No children, no elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. That's how they survived, while the rest of the world went to shit around them. Jesus Christ. Well, just the opposite when you think about it. <laughs> what exactly did Crawford do with all these burdens? What happened to them? Well, you met some of them already. Fuck me. Yeah. Anyone who got sick, anyone too old, anyone they figured wasn't strong enough to survive. To them, those people were just mouths to feed, a drain on their precious resources. How do you know all this? Everyone in Savannah knew. What was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true. What the hell are you doing to this time? Look, I'm gonna ask you people again. You're not from Crawford, so who the hell are you? What are you doing here? We're just trying to survive, same as you. And the only way we're gonna survive is by getting on a boat and getting the hell out of here. Yeah, good luck with that. Anyone with a boat took it out of here as soon as people started eating each other. Any that got left behind, Crawford stripped them for parts. Cars, too. There's gotta be something. If there was, do you think I'd still be here? I've been over every inch of this city. This whole place is picked clean. God damn it! Fuck! Hey, moron. You want to keep your voice down? Shit. Since you're not getting on any boat, I'd advise you folks to go back to where you came from before... Great. Just great.
He's in at the... The way we came. Fuck. Gunshot must have brought him back. Isn't there another way back to the house? Mom, is there a... Hey! You just gonna leave us here? Sorry, I must have missed that part of our conversation where you became my problem. Don't leave us here! Please! Come on, make it fast! Oh, fuck me! Come on, come on, hurry! Come on, Lee, come on, Lee. Come on, man. Come on, One good jump! Jump Come on, Lee! Thing. Get your ass out of there! God, can't get it open! Here, use that to pry it open. Q! I'm Q the hell out of it! Clementine, can you hear me? If you can hear me, just get back to the house, okay? I'll meet you there. Ugh. Shit. Built solid. Slip. Ew, there's dead mouses. Ain't touching that. Last thing I need is some god awful disease. Oh my god, I do not like this. How cramped it is. Seems loose. 
Shit. Passage, go to the passage. Come on, come on, come on. Good big shit. Cup. Come on, get in there. Oh my god. Oh my god. I Oh my god. I just realized some I just realized something. I Holy shit. I just fucking realized something. Guys, I just realized. Bro, no. No, it's Chuck. Oh my god. Chuck. He must have tried to hide out down here. Poor bastard. No bullets. He must have saved the last one for himself. You deserve better, old man. Come on. Attack the Zambi. Oh shit. Damn it! Go, god damn it! Mack you, motherfucker! In his face. Bro, I knew that was Chuck as soon as I saw that yellow jacket, bro. No way I could pick that up on my own. with this oh, oh my God. it's just a sign locked fucking perfect shit it broke off I already tried that it ain't gonna budge What is this noise? Oh god. Fall out there. The hell? Must have been one of those old nuclear fallout shelters. Oh my god. Bro, there's so much food. Look at all this. It's enough to keep people alive for months. Wonder if someone's living down here. Bro, what? Who are you? I could ask you the same question. You barged in on us. And, and I'm the one holding the gun, so I'll ask you again. Who are you? Look, I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're down here... Are you from Crawford? They don't lie to me. 
I know. Where else can he be from? Everywhere else around here is dead. Look, I got cornered down here. All I want is to get back out to the streets and find my group. Bullshit! You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. Think, Vernon. What do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here, right under their feet? Damn it. You're right. I'm sorry, friend. Can't take the risk. I'm not from Crawford, but I saw what they did up there. It made me sick. I'm not like them, and I don't think you are either. I think you're a good man. Keep back, or I swear I'll shoot. It's all right. It's okay. Vernon, what the hell are you doing? Vernon! Dude, Relax. if this bitch does not, not shut the fuck up, I'm going to be pissed off. You're really not from Crawford? No, I'm really not. Well, we are, or were. We got out of there when they started sealing up the place, you know, started weeding out the sick and the old so the perfect survivor society wouldn't be threatened. No room for weakness or vulnerability in their little master race. You don't look that old, so you're sick? We're sick. We're all members of a cancer survivors group that used to meet here at the hospital. We're in remission. But that wasn't good enough for Crawford. They'd already rounded up five of us before the rest of us managed to hole up and hide from them down here. This old basement's been abandoned for years. What is this? A morgue? Yeah. Yeah. Irony's always high on my list when I'm looking for a place to survive. How did you find your way down here? A few of us got boxed in by walkers up on the street. Came down here trying to get away. Now I just want to get out of here and get back to my own people. Well, that sewer system you came through runs all over the city. It'll take you wherever you want to go. Those sewers are like a damn maze. Any chance you could help me find my way back? Look, I'd like to help you, but we've all got our own problems. Two of our group are sick and need constant care, and I'm the only doctor here. Besides, why should we help you? Look, I'm sorry if I scared you. I just want to get back to my people. Back to Clementine. She's your daughter? No. She lost her real parents. I'm doing what I can. You're not seriously considering going with him. It's all right, Bree. I had a daughter, too. Lost her in the first days. I'll be damned if I'll just sit back and let that happen to someone else. We need you here. Don't worry. I'll be back before you know it. Let's go. Oh, I'm not fucking go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Dude, why is my screen shaking? Oh, why is my screen shaking? That was, was annoying. Clementine? Clem? Molly? Oh, hey, you made it back. Who's this? He didn't tell you about me? Understandable, I guess. I'm the one who put that beating on him when he tried to jump me back at the river. Who's the fossil? What were you doing? Just looking. Figured you might have something you want to donate as a thank you for getting your friends back safely. I think you have something that belongs to me. I don't like her, bro. She's a... Lee, thank God you're back. Krista, what's wrong? It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Much worse. We have a man wounded. Who's this? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. Oh, thank God. Could you take a look at him? You have to help us. Please. 
I'll see what I can do. Take me to him. Omid, honey. You're gonna be all right. Lee brought a doctor. All right, let's take a look at him. I work better without an audience. I'm sure you have more things of your own to attend to. Okay. Clementine. Clementine? Clementine, you in here? Where is she? I've never been in this room before. Clementine? Clem's drawings. But where is she? Clementine, you here? Clem? Hello? What are you doing? Oh, you know, just poking around. You won't find anything. We already searched the place. You'd be surprised what people miss. Trust me, I've been doing this for a while. Where's Clementine? Don't ask me, I'm not her keeper. Hey, do I look like I'm in the mood to be jerked around? Where did she go? Last I saw, she was downstairs with your redneck friend and that college kid who hangs around with him. Why don't you go bug them? Clementine? I don't care about that. I just want to find Clementine. No sign of her in here. And I'm trying to find Clementine, brother. Clem? Clementine? Well, she might be upstairs in the attic. Let's check the attic. Check the attic. Check the attic. Clementine? You up there? Shit. Where could she be? Clementine! Where are you? <laughs> Clementine! Come out! Please! Kenny? Oh, hey, you made it back. Good job. Good job. What the hell do you think you're doing? What does it look like? Where'd you get the bottle? Found it. You want to throw <laughs> down again like back on the train? Because I fight better when I'm shit-faced. Hey, take it easy. Think you've had enough. To hell with you! Getting wasted's not gonna help anyone. Yeah? Well, what is? We are fucked! Molly said there's not a single boat left in Savannah. No way out. We got walkers all around us, that crazy fuck on the radio messing with us. Hell, if now ain't the time for a drink? What? <laughs> No, talk to me. Talk to me. Have either of you seen Clementine? Damned if I know. Gotta be around here somewhere. Ben, I gave you one job when I left here. Take care of Clementine. Then she shows up out on River Street looking for me. What the hell happened? Hey, don't put all that on me. Omid took a turn for the worse, and Krista asked me to help. I'm sorry, I'm doing the best I can here. She was frantic, and things got kinda crazy. I told Clementine to stay put. What else could I do? Don't be sorry. Just tell me where the hell she is now. I 
think she went out to play in the backyard? On her own? With no one watching her? Man, will you get off my back? She's fine out there. She better be or it's your ass. Clementine? Clementine! Doors covered in vines. Don't think anyone came in through there. covered in vines. Don't think anyone came in through there. What is it? Oh, it's a boat, probably. Whoa. I know, right? <laughs> oh, that makes me so happy. All right, that's it for this episode of part one of episode four. Um, part two is going to be out in a couple days. Make sure to like, subscribe, and tune in for that episode, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>